right, so requested build, uh, just showing a proof, proof of concept. Um, going to be showing a base build. Um, this build will assume that you have mods, but this is for an oldie, but still a goodie as far as crit damage goes. Um, the lens, this is the Brahma before the Brahma was a thing, but considering the new mods that are available, um, it is significantly more powerful than what it used to be. Uh, threw together a basic, generic, useful everywhere build for it, um, where it will do okay versus any enemy that you throw at it. Uh, just to go over some of the base stats. Um, 50 base crit chance, 2x multiplier, 5% status chance. Impact on the arrow itself, but obviously we are here for the AoE. Uh, very large AoE, 7 meters. A forced cold proc and blast damage on the AoE. <clears throat> The weapon is very potent, um, considering most people are going to be able to get this in base star chart, uh, and definitely something that's worthwhile when you're starting to complete the Steel Path missions, um, and maybe you don't have like a Riven setup or uh, faction mods. Uh, so we have our generic build. We're going to be building to amplify Slash as much as possible. Uh, with critical delay, you have 150 crit chance, 4.4 crit multiplier, we put on vial acceleration to get the charge rate down and make it as spammy as possible. Uh, so there's going to be no arcanes boosting fire rate or base damage. Uh, prime firestorm to make each shot count as much as possible, boost our range up to almost 12. And of course, galvanized chamber, which is available from Arbiters of Hexus from doing arbitrations. Prime Cryo, Prime Firestorm, and Infected Clip to give us as much viral procs as possible with the very low status chance. Uh, and the Force Cold to give us a bit of CC. And obviously our damage dealer uh, and making use of the high crit chance as much as possible, we are going to have 100 munitions. And the Arcane that I will be using on the weapon to boost damage is going to be primary merciless because it is next to impossible to get reliable headshots um, and the AoE is going to put in tons of work anyway and the reload does technically speed it up a tiny bit but we don't even need an exilus mod on this we're going to show some 100 exos Once the first enemy dies, they tend to all die after that, so we're getting 1Ks, 2Ks, 4Ks, an 8K, 7.5, 3K, 4K slash ticks, 20K slash tick. It's not set in any records, but it's definitely base steel path clear it out um and it doesn't require a ton of forma obviously four is a bit but when i was forming this it was to get the ribbon on it um and just to show like what it's capable uh like on the steel path if you do decide to not want to play the brahma or play with the brahma or like the czar um which are significantly better than this, but say you're using this and you're going around the star chart, you can definitely do some damage with this. So just build for crit, make it hurt as much as possible, and if you do decide that you don't want to run viral, uh, you can definitely run corrosive. Uh, this is a Riven build, but it's just further amplifying the base damage. Uh, got a ton of crit chance and some impact just because it's how it rolled, but this is a corrosive and essentially the same build as before. 
and without a faction mod. The alpha damage will be significantly higher. The slashes will gain a bit of benefit from the base damage. Give or take, they should do about 30% more. So let's see. Or they'll just die in one shot, okay. Well, we'll figure that out later. Anyway, um, not using any abilities on heroes. Hero, by the way. Okay, so let's go back to the Orbiter. We'll do a little bit of Steel Path gameplay. I'll swap over to Neja. Uh, just something that's a rock that doesn't take any damage. So I can show the weapon off for what it is in all of its glory. All right, just something tanky. We won't even take a melee, but it's just something that's tanky and tough to deal with. Will keep us alive. No weapons. Panzer is going to be helping us out with viral procs, which is going to help the hunter munitions proc. So the corrosive build, even though it doesn't have viral on it, um, I will show some gameplay for that. Uh, we'll do. A significant amount of damage because viral status will still be on the enemies and I'll show a couple of minutes just to show how the damage is in steel path all right we got our Kuva fortress Kuva survival solo on steel path just trying to show something a little late game um, I know people have a bit of trouble with steel path when they're learning um but once you figure it out it's it's pretty good get our shield up and trigger some enemies all right i'm gonna do two three minutes and we'll swap over to the other build the riven build
All right, easy enough. Bit of a light show. Uh, adjust your settings as desired. We'll swap over to the other build, which will do significantly better with the ribbon setup. And that's just a simple viral AOE. Um, do a, a proper corrosive build to take advantage of the Panzer viral. Um, and the damage will go way up. And this is a ribbon setup again. Uh, crit chance, base damage, and impact. Just something I rolled a couple of times. Gets us into the consistent oranges um, and helps the slash proc immensely. All right, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, the damage definitely goes up, obviously, because we're using corrosive. The alpha damage is going to go way up. Um, due to the final thoughts on the weapon, due to the low status on the weapon, you are sort of pigeonholed into a very, very crit-heavy build. Um, but there's some good news. Uh, because of the nature of the weapon the high base damage on the radial um and with the new gallop mods you actually do have some options um <clears throat> you could even skip the if you wanted to go a proper slash build you could even skip this and just go pure crit and like a smite and just try to do as much damage as possible uh, with your base damage and ignore um, any sort of status or anything. And just go pure crit. This would even do some damage. Um, you could even do like Firestorm uh, instead of here. Because um, the fact is, is... With Galvanized Scope, since you're killing so much with the AoE, 
Um, it is going to be a little harder to get the headshot kill. And you're going to be aiming. Uh, so maybe for a comfort pick, just to be able to spam through, uh, do the prime firestorm. And I can, I'll can i show a little bit of footage of this. Uh, where it's just pure base damage. Um, this would be another option. But because of the crit, you have to take advantage of what the weapon's strong in. It's not... Like, it's not high crit chance, high status chance. It doesn't have, for modern 2022 Warframe, it doesn't have an insane amount of status chance and multi-shot and multi-hit, like the Brahma does, for example, um, or even like the Czar. You're going to hit, you're going to get your basic multi-shot hit, and then you're getting an explosion per arrow. Uh... So it's going to be generally three arrows with three explosions. It's not like going to be the Brahma where you have the arrow, the initial AOE, and then you have the bomblets. Same with the Czar. You're not going to have that. So the multi-hit is going to be significantly less. So the Brahma and the other one and the Czar are just going to do worse off. But it's still viable. Um, if you're trying to do like a budget build, there is nothing wrong with taking this. Um, like, say you don't have a ribbon, you could put galvanized scope in here and just go pure or crit. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, stay away from uh, galvanized aptitude because you're not doing damage with the initial hit. Galvanized aptitude applies to the base hit of the arrow not the aoe as of right now um if that ever changes because it's like a forced proc things will be different but you could do this and just go around and just slash stuff to death it's definitely a possibility but if you enjoy this weapon you want each time you pull the bow to hit as many things as possible and that's just kind of how you have to build it. You're going to get away with some free damage from the multiple hits. Each time you pull the bow and then you have galvanized chamber, you're going to get essentially three bullets per time you release the bow. You're going to get three, uh, three arrows and then three explosions each time you pull. And... It's just kind of what you have to deal with. Now, the benefit is, is that you do have the AOE forced cold proc. Uh, the benefit of that is it is going to cause, say you're in a hallway, it is going to cause enemies to bunch up in the AOE. So there is a non-negligible damage DPS increase. And due to the nature that there is a forced cold proc and blast, uh, this weapon will do better against Corpus than it will against Grenier. Uh, you could build it for Magnetic, um, for like some higher one-shot potential against Corpus. But just showing what it can do, because right now, as of May 18th, 2022, the toughest enemies in the game are still Grenier. So this is just showing what it's capable. But this weapon's built to... Kill uh, Corpus. A blast, a heavy blast magnetic proc is going to do high, high damage against Corpus units and their shields. And it will help with the MOAs. And the blast is in the same spirit as the Brahma, because that deals innate blast also. Okay, so final thing. Just going to show one, two more minutes of uh, the pure slash build. Um, and I'll leave you all with that. Build for Slash, have fun. Scan and show Grenier or Harvester Makuba nearby. Set off the alarms to draw them out, then scale their Kuba tower. Predictable. As expected, Grenier have shut down the environmental systems, sending modified electrical capsules, USBs to sustain the environment or attack.
All right, so just to sort of verbalize what I'm saying, I don't know if it's gonna get lost in the bit, right? Um, I'm seeing slash procs that are all over the place in terms of amount. Um, the smite mod and the base damage and focusing directly on amping slash as much as possible uh, has obviously put in some work. I'm seeing slash procs from like six, seven hundred. Most of them are like 10, 12 K, but like I'm seeing some like that one was 35. Pretty decent slash procs on the Acolyte. Let's give him some damage amp. Alright, got 25k slash tick on the Acolyte. But yeah, it looks like there's some sort of headshot multiplier um, when you shoot it off the ceiling. 
Because some of the slash ticks are very, very high for how this weapon's modded. Um, and we'll just back out. Some of the slash ticks are very, very high. I saw one as high as 170k. Not reliable in any way, shape, or form, but still a build nonetheless. So if you want to go slash, you can go slash. But for those that like using that and maybe um, don't have a Riven, you could swap a uh, Galvanized Scope in here and probably get something pretty similar. Um, especially with the extra crit chance. But anyway, there you go. Food for thought. It's better than they once was. But not as good as they need to be now. But it's still pretty fun. seeing, Being able to shoot something and then watch everything die one tick later. But anyway, I know I rambled a bit. But there you go. The lens in 2022. Have a good day, everybody. Have a blessed day.